Hi there. I want to talk about the A shape today. Uh, normally we make an A in the first position like that. We can use one finger uh, or three fingers. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but that notes are uh, the A, the second fret of the D string. That's an E right there. The second fret of the G string, which is another A right there. And the uh, C sharp on the second fret of the of the uh, B string and all those will make an uh, will make an A for you. Now we had E also, so we can also play the open E string if we want to. So the A scale starts with A. That's the tonic. Um, a, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. There's one octave right there. And you can do that in the first position by leaving your uh, your first finger right here on the G on the uh, on the G sharp if you want to. So that's your seven for the uh, for the A scale. A is one, B is two, C sharp is three, D is four, E is five, F sharp is six, G sharp is seven, and A is one again. That's one octave right there, and we could continue. A, A B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, and G sharp if we want to. And then down from the open A, we could we would play that A, uh, G sharp, F sharp, down to E. Right. So that's like all of the A scale notes. And if you look at that first uh, diagram, uh, those are the notes that we play. They're numbered by uh, they're numbered. So it's the number of the uh, of the of the, uh, the scale uh, that's important for us. So e is five. Uh, F sharp is six. G sharp is seven, and A is one again. Right. Uh, B is two. C sharp is three. D is four, and E is five again. F sharp is 6, G sharp is 7, and A is 1 again. And A is 1, uh, uh, B is 2, C sharp is 3, D is 4, E is 5, F sharp is 6, and G sharp is 7. So that's uh, that's the scale. You can hear it um, uh, comfortable, uh, comfortably. You can hear that major scale. Well, here's the thing. To play a major chord, right, you need three notes, major triad, that is, you need three notes. You need the 1, the three and the five, and we played a bunch of those in different places. We played the five down here on the E string, the one is on the A string, again the five is on the second fret of the D string, the one is on the second fret of the G string, the three, that's the C sharp, is on the B string, and five again is the open uh, E string. So that's pretty much what you've been doing forever if you play your A from the open A string. A is one, uh, E is 5, A is 1 again, C sharp is 3, and E is 5. It's just like that. Now we don't usually play the 5 below the uh, below the root because it tends to muddy things a little bit. So listen, here's a nice A with A at the bottom. right? And here's the same chord when I'm playing the open E string too. Right, so that it's, it sort of t tends to pull away from the one. If the if it's the one chord that you're talking about, the A chord. If it's uh, if you're talking about making an A, right, and you put the five note in the bottom of it, doesn't quite have the same uh, uh, the same intent. So, so, uh, so we'll play that one five one three five. Really nice and not too hard. But the very cool thing about this is if we understand that uh, relationship, right. We can then move that guy wherever we want to. So, for instance, if you wanted to play a B, uh, we we know that B is a whole step up from an A. So I'm going to start with my B here on the second fret of the A string. There's a B, and that will now be one five is on the fourth fret, one is on the fourth fret, and three is on the fourth fret, and five again will be on the second fret. So our B major would sound like this. go to C, I just have to move up another uh, another fret. And I can do that all the way up the neck of the guitar to a D, to an E, an F, and a G. And since the G, the uh, the fi uh, the um, the five, the one, and the three are here on the uh, D string, the G string, and the B string at the twelfth fret. That means the G is down here on the open string. So uh, five, one, three. I'm I'm playing my um, my D string, my G string, and my B string. Five, one, three, just like that. Day 
is done, day is done, day is done, right? Day is done, day is done. Uh, so, uh, and then one more thing is a minor. So the only thing that I have to do differently for a minor is to drop that three note, which in the first position here on the A is on the second fret of the B string. That makes a C sharp. So if I go down a half a step, that gives me a C. That means an A minor sounds like this. Very nice. The difference between A minor and A, of course, is major to minor is sort of that happy sound to a sad sound. Funny how one note, one half a step of one note can make uh, such a big difference. But uh, A to an A minor, right? And then if I wanted to go to B, to a B minor, and then to a uh, C, to a C minor, and I'm arpeggiating those uh, those notes, but you can actually play the chord as well if you want to. David Bowie, station to station, it sounds to me like minor, major, minor, major. So have some fun with this. Uh, this is the A shape, um, part, part of the cage system. Uh, I think it's the easiest one to start with is A because it's common at the first position here. Uh, and we can play any major at, or end at that um, and the associated minor chord by building that chord from the uh, from the five string. So again, A on the five string is a root. On the second fret, that will be five. The fifth note, A, B, C, D, E, right? Uh, and then again, the one note on the second fret of the G string, one. So I've got one, five, one, one, two, three. The, th uh, the third uh, degree of the scale will be also on the second fret of the of the B string. So all of those lined up sound like this: one, five, one, three. And I can play my my one again on the my one note again on the uh, E one string if I want to. Uh, my five note on the E one string if I want to. So have some fun. Uh, this is worth knowing. This kind of stuff it'll be helpful for you uh, to be able to build major minor chords from the five string anywhere up and down the neck.